One of the reasons that I am so passionate about including the LGBTQ community in everything that the Episcopal Diocese of Arizona does is because we are in a lot of rural communities and often the Episcopal Church in your neighborhood in Kingman or in uh, Winslow or Douglas is often the only place that is welcoming to the LGBTQ community. And so to be able to be the bishop of a diocese and of congregations where I know that what we're doing matters. It matters to young people when they see there's a pride flag outside or a pride symbol outside the church. And to know that the inclusive place um, is the church and it's not despite the church, that means a great deal to me. The first time I started working with one community was through the invitation for the Mesa Non-Discrimination Ordinance. And the second time I believe was when we were at the Capitol for the launching of the Equality and Fairness for All Arizonans Act. That was a very exciting moment for me because it was a chance to see something bipartisan and to be part of that and be a voice where people could see that the church was speaking for the inclusion of all people, not despite what Jesus said, but because of what Jesus said. I've gotten a vision in the last year and a half of what it looks like when we are not inclusive and when we do not have this type of unity and inclusion. One of our churches, St. Stephen's in Douglas, was burned down by an arsonist specifically because they had a gay priest and because he felt a hatred towards gay people and women leaders. And with the experience of that church, I've gotten to see that when we are out of balance and when hatred wins, it hurts, it costs. And I want Arizona to be a place where no one has to be afraid to worship, when no one has to be afraid to lead in their church, and where everyone is welcome. When I sent out a pastoral letter last year about the inclusion of the trans and non-binary community, I was expecting to get a lot of upset letters. But instead what I got was a lot of people who for the first time felt like they were being included, supported, and recognized by their bishop and in their church. It brings us joy and love when we include people. And it helps people who are straight allies have the words to include members of their family and to fight back against some of the discrimination they experience in their lives and in their families. We believe it's important to support equality and fairness for all Arizonans because we believe that every single person is a child of God and should be treated with dignity wherever they go. That means regardless of their sexuality or their gender identity, but it also means it doesn't matter what religion you are. No matter who you are or what you believe, you should be welcome in Arizona. Loving your neighbor means loving somebody who's different from you. And my dream for Arizona is that we would find ways of actually loving one another. Doesn't mean we'll always agree, doesn't mean we'll always like each other, but we will love each other. It is so exciting for me to be recognized as a local hero, but I also recognize that I am standing on the shoulders of so many people in Arizona and in the Episcopal Church more widely. So it's exciting to have that attention brought here. The Episcopal Church is a place where everyone is welcome, and I appreciate one community recognizing that.